Hello, and welcome to Ocean Inverts. Today we are going to be learning how to draw a creature many people have seen before in aquariums or lining the bottom of a tide pool. These beautiful invertebrates are anemones within the phylum Cnidaria and are closely related to corals and jellyfish. Now, let's start our drawing by writing out the classifications. As noted before, anemones are within the phylum Cnidaria, the subclass Hexacorallia, and the order Actinaria. The genus and species we are going to be focusing on today is Metridium senile. This video will be going fairly in-depth into the internal anatomy of anemones. If you only want to draw the basic features, focus on the features labeled in purple, which include the column, the oral disc, the pedal disc, tentacles, mouth, and the siphonoglyph, which is made up of two grooves around the mouth that draw in water and help with respiration. Some other features of anemones include a complete septum, which provides body structure and increased surface area for digestion, the gastrodermis and gastrovascular cavity, the retractor muscle, which enables movement, Acontia, which are nematocyst-filled threads that can exit the anemone for defense through pores called synclides, the pharynx, and finally the mesentery, which are radial folds in the tissue that divide the anemone into sections. Here is a picture of Metridium senile. Pause the video here and try to draw the anemone as pictured, labeling the features we just talked about. Now, let's draw our anemone. I'm going to be drawing a cutaway view so that we can identify the internal anatomy as well as a bird's eye view from the top. Let's start by labeling the basic anatomy features labeled in purple. In our top-down view drawing, we can clearly identify the oral disc, which encompasses the width of the mouth and tentacles. Finally, let's label the internal anatomy features in green. Our anemone drawing is complete. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in for additional marine invertebrate videos.